Uh, okay, we're about to get the signal back. There we go. Okay, cool. So fingers crossed that the signal holds for the T0, which again is not exact. If you're looking at that countdown clock in the top, you have not seen an exact published T0 for this time. Uh, 433 and how many seconds is the question. We know it's going to be at 433, but we don't know the precise seconds within that minute that they're targeting. So we could see the engines ignite any time between 4.33 and 4.33.59, basically. Um, so the number of seconds in that minute is the question in terms of when we see those nine Merlin engines ignite. And we have more good news. Another modem just came online, I'm being told. So we may actually get pretty good signal here as the broadcasting unit brings in this other modem right now. We'll see what happens, but it does look like the signal's improving. I'm still seeing a freeze every now and then, but with about one minute until the static fire, our live stream is hopefully going to work. Um, again, this is the final major test of Falcon 9 before it launches astronauts for the first time. So fingers crossed for a good static fire. I'm going to remove the countdown clock because again, it is not we don't know the exact time, as I've been saying, so I don't want to confuse anyone. If the static fire does not occur in exactly 40 seconds, that's not a problem. It just means that we don't know exactly when the static fire is going to happen. So let's watch for that plume of smoke and those nine Merlin engines to ignite sometime within the next minute or so. And this test is occurring from Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This is the same launch complex that launched all or most of the Apollo missions and a lot of space shuttle missions as well. Apollo 11, SCS-1, a great deal of historic missions have all taken place in this launch pad. And Demo 2 will just be another name to that historic list. So just waiting for the Cedar's engines ignite any second now. Hard to know exactly when it will happen from this distance because we cannot see the rain suppression system or this, excuse me, the sound suppression system from this distance. So when the rain birds turn on at 39A, it's always a good sign the static fire is about to happen. And there it is right now. We have a static fire of Falcon 9 on LC 39A ahead of the Crew Dragon flight to the space station with NASA astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug early on Wednesday afternoon at 4.33 p.m. So it looks like we managed to maintain signal for that static fire test. So thank you for hanging in with us. Uh, now SpaceX teams will conduct a data review and determine if Falcon 9 is ready for flight. And if so, all is looking good for a launch on Wednesday. The flight readiness review also concluded this morning. That was another major step. So two big items knocked off the checklist uh, this afternoon in Florida ahead of flight. So lots of exciting stuff in Florida occurring right now. Um, again, that cloud you're seeing is water vapor, not smoke. And if all goes well, after this data review, we will expect SpaceX to tweet confirmation of a good static fire test on their Twitter account at SpaceX. And that will let us know that everything went well today and that they are looking good for a launch on Wednesday. So stay tuned to SpaceX on Twitter. As for now, that concludes our coverage of today's static fire test. Apologies again for the signal. It looked like we only had one or two of our four modems online and we were in a very remote location. So the combination of factors did not play into our favor, but we'll make sure to get everything tested um, ahead of 
launch on Wednesday. NASA Space Flight will be broadcasting that launch using the NASA clean feed that they're going to be providing to the media along with Chris B's uh, live feed. So we'll have lots of cool camera angles and lots of coverage planned. We have special guests being lined up and lots of cool content. So stay tuned to the YouTube channel for that. We'll also have the daily Starship updates from Mary coming up this week. But with that, I think it is time to end the broadcast for today. Thank you all for tuning in and looking forward to Falcon 9 and Crew Dragons launch the space station on Wednesday. See you then.